All right, guys, welcome back. I'm going to show you guys a little bit of a secret move. Uh, but I had like a coast to coast request, like Casey Kasem did in the old days from Jason Spollock, otherwise known as Tank, to Billy Dowie, just to show how this move is done for Billy's best interest. So I'm going to share this with you guys. Hope you have fun with it. Give you a chance to really talk some smack to your friends and humiliate them uh, with this move. That's good. Cool. Yep. So you have your opponent in the half guard, and a lot of times guys are trying to use their head to drive your shoulder down, and they're putting you flat, and they're loving to smash you. So I want to put my hand into the collar here. I don't like to go really, really deep. Okay, for this particular move, this is going to inhibit me to an extent. Also, I don't really go with a traditional half guard. I sort of pinch right here at his hip, and my feet which I'll show you in just a second, are overlaid. Okay, I don't really cross my ankles. I overlay my feet. And that allows me to put a lot of pressure here on his hip, even if I have just a little bit inside. So I'm really kind of controlling what he does here. I have a loose grip. I like to say my finger is in line with their collarbone. And I have my grip here. I'm trying to push away, push away, push away. I actually use the back of my hand to push into them. If you're pushing, you're pushing right here next to the neck. It makes it very uncomfortable. They don't really like that. A lot of times also, I'll push up to my elbow. And so I start pushing the guy back. And I'm on my elbow, and I'm really playing this game. He thinks I'm going to do some of the stuff I did earlier, right? Like I'm going to slip out and go underneath. He's not real sure. Maybe I'm trying to stand in base. So I cock my elbow into him a little bit. Use my, uh, I'm sorry, I cock my wrist into him, and I use my elbow to defend this side. So as I'm here, when he drives back into me, I don't, what I want to do is I want to try to take his head and stick it here in my hip. I want to pull him past me. So I kind of move my body to do that. So I'm here when he drives in, I move my body. I put my shoulder right next to his shoulder. Now the fun begins. So he starts trying to pass because now I've opened my guard. I use my knee to force his pass. He goes around and starts continuing to pass. What I want to do from here is spin myself underneath. I could hit the choke here, but what will happen is they're trying to reach up and grab your head with this arm all the time, and I block it off. I slip. As he continues to pass, I go underneath. I catch the far leg, and I get the finish. So again, we're in the half guard. I have my knee in, like a little bit of a knee shield, right? Not a, not a very proper knee shield, but hey, it's a knee shield nonetheless. Open the collar, feed my hand. Become aggravative. Start pushing the guy back. We're bumping around here. I have good control. Even get up so we can really start playing this game. As you feel that guy drive back into you, loop your elbow high, feed your hand under. Loop and drive your body towards his. The mistake you're going to make is trying to get that guy to come to you. Bring yourself to him, right? As he passes, I slip right under his arm. I reach across his far leg, maintain a grip, and continue to spin underneath. Have a pinch. Make a grip. Punch him in the throat a few times just for fun and entertainment's sake. Come up on your elbow. They drive in, punch their head. Open your guard, but keep this knee in play so they only feel like this is the way to go out. As he passes around, reach under the leg, continue to turn. As you turn, hug your elbow down to your side. Wasn't really going to show that move, but uh, Mr. Tank requested it, and so I wanted to send that out to him. He can always remember what he used it for.